fuck the hate, no time for it. Oh, he was an angel or something. Fuck that nigga. He right where he at. Maggot food. Cutthroat pack. <laughs> As you can see, it's a lot of rappers from Chicago who really didn't like Cutthroat Vine. You know, this guy had a reputation for being an enforcer, a real street dude. I heard stories of, you know, some rappers used to see this guy and take off the other way. They didn't want to deal with this guy because they just knew what he was on and shit like that. So uh, I kind of want to make this my profile. A lot of people ask me why they don't see a lot of interviews and a lot of these things with Cutthroat Vine on the Internet. Don't get me wrong. You hear a lot of music music on the internet to cut through vine i think it's even like videos that was like on instagram that people took it might have put on uh youtube and shit like that but you don't see a lot of videos of cutthroat vine just being him it's like most of the videos he was either in mode or he was in rap mode you get what i'm saying you never really seen this everyday life cooling with his homies having fun if it didn't pertain to the street shit you get what i'm saying but uh a lot of people throwing shots at this guy from the whole no limit camp to look er bibby them he had a beef with capo think about it when this guy died a lot of people didn't know who really did it because the guy had a lot of enemies you get what i'm saying uh this kts movement i think it's a strong movement out out in chicago they represent the east side a lot of people to tell you about the cutthroats they'll tell you that these are like really the real street niggas who really handling business in the street and shit like that you know what i'm saying so uh a lot of people i feel don't reach out to cutthroat vaughn because i'm not gonna lie he was kind of disrespectful now and uh i mean but i can understand to a certain extent i guess people might have killed some of his homies and took some of his friends away so that's guess how he retaliated through hurting people and shit like that you know what i'm saying but the guy had shirts with like dead ops on them and all kind of shit like that so the guy didn't play no games when it came to this music shit i think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't really uh, talk about Vine like that. You don't see a lot of shit on the internet about Vine if it ain't about at least the music or, you know, him and Mo. Not a lot of interviews. I think a lot of people were scared of this dude. You know, I interviewed a lot of people close to this guy, and they always told me that Vine was a real street dude, but he was loving. He was caring for his people. Unfortunately, he lost his life due to gun violence. I actually heard stories that his daddy lost his life to gun violence, too. So, you know, the cycle continued and shit like that. Um... I'm going to be doing a lot more interviews with the cutthroats because I really want to understand this movement and understand Vaughn too. So, y'all subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep you up. Motherfucker was out of town. Like this and cutthroat treated his ass, man. Bad. Motherfucker basically mad. He motherfucker. Was out of motherfucker. Bad. And got to talk. Like I said, all that. Like I said, I'm going to do all that. 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 I'm going